My name is Nicole Luongo. I'm 43, soon to be 44 years old, and I live in Plantation, Florida in the United States. I'm an author, a cerebral palsy, and selective dorsal rhizotomy advocate, and the creator of the What Cerebral Palsy Looks Like Facebook page. I'm also a blogger and a contributing writer for the Huffington Post and the Mighty. I have spastic diplasia, the most common form of cerebral palsy. It was caused by a lack of oxygen to the brain during a premature birth. As I've gotten older and before I had SDR surgery four years ago, the spasticity or tightness that lived in my body for 40 years started to take a toll. My back hurt and I tired easily when walking. Doctors never told me anything about CP, the damage spasticity does to the body, nor did they recommend any treatment options or physical therapy. One reason there is little information on adults with CP is because most doctors only have experience treating children with CP. Plus, the medical community has forgotten that children with CP grow up to be adults with CP. We need help too, especially since there's no cure for CP and it causes early aging. So, I have some questions for the medical community. There are 17 million people worldwide living with CP. Why is there little to no media attention given to us? Why isn't National Cerebral Palsy Awareness Day or Cerebral Palsy Awareness Month or World Cerebral Palsy Day for that matter announced in the news or on Good Morning America or the Today Show or shows similar to those in the United States? CP is the most common childhood disability. Why is there no federal funding available in the United States for adults and children with CP? Why are most of the resources available for CP only for children? SDR is the only medical procedure that can eliminate spasticity. Why isn't the information about this life-changing surgery offered to families as a possible form of treatment? And why is incorrect information being given to patients, discouraging them from pursuing SDR? My message on Cerebral Palsy Awareness Day is this. Be your own advocate or advocate for your child. Cerebral palsy may be a part of you, but it doesn't define who you are. Follow your dreams, go for your goals, and pursue your passions in life. You may have to do things a different way, and that's okay. Remember, you are so much more than your CP, and go green for CP. Hi everyone, my name is Rochelle Heath. I am from the United States. I am 40 years old, and I have cerebral palsy. I'm coming here because I was asked to be a part of this project to raise awareness for cerebral palsy. What caused my cerebral palsy is um, I was born a preemie, so super early, so I didn't get enough oxygen to my brain and it caused brain damage, quote unquote, cerebral palsy. The biggest challenge I think that I have, my body's gotten older now that I'm 40 years old, is that I, I get tired more easy, like fatigued, and I think that it has a lot to do with what they call premature aging in people with cerebral palsy because a lot of us, well, not a lot of us, we were none of us were born with what they call energy reserves that quote unquote normal people have um, that usually kick in between the ages of 35 and 40 to help them in their, you know, gradual normal aging process. We don't have that. That's probably been my biggest challenge. Besides that, I have osteoarthritis and osteopenia now which is caused from all the therapies and all the surgery that I had on my body from the ages of 2 to 16 before my body was even done growing but it's manageable. I take joint supplements like everything over the counter so it seems to me that once you hit the age of 21 or 22 
the funding, the resources that you used to get when you were a child, they disappear because apparently doctors seem to think that your cerebral palsy just magically walks off and goes away too. So then you're left on your own to find doctors who quote unquote treat cerebral palsy because most of them are pediatric and when you get a certain age, they're, they have no idea. They don't help. They'll refer you back and forth. And you're lucky if you can find a neurologist who will help you. At least that's been my personal experience. The message to the world is be proud of who you are. God makes no mistakes. You have cerebral palsy. It is a part of who you are. It does not define you. Educate, advocate, inspire. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for your community. Stand up for your friends. Be a voice for those who might not necessarily have one. And at the end of the day, make sure that you advocate and you stand up and you make a change. And you do what you feel is right for yourself and your community because if you don't stand up and you don't make a change, who else is going to do it? So Thank together you know, we can make a wonderful change. Thank you. And it was nice talking to everybody. Have a great day. Bye. Hello everyone. My name is Matthew Rich. I'm 35 years old. I have cerebral palsy. I'm a motivational speaker and a personal trainer. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the differences compared to me being a younger child to now being an adult. The, what's amazing to me is the vastness and array of things that have happened over my 35 years of life. I was once told that I would never walk, never talk, never run or play. And it seems like everything I do goes against those rules that were set upon me. I was born at 29 weeks. I weighed 2 pounds 5 ounces. I was pronounced dead f uh, 4 times and I was told by my parents that the doctors ran around for 2 hours while trying to figure out what to do with me. And I definitely had a lack of oxygen to the brain which caused my cerebral palsy. Over the years, I have gone from holding on to walls, crawling around the floor, which I still do on a daily basis, using a wheelchair, which I still do on a daily basis, uh, walking on crutches since the age of 14 years old, dropping those crutches at 28 years old, and taking my very first steps to my family in 2010, 20 yards, 60 yards, and 30 yards at the end of the year on Christmas Day to my father. And the greatest joy in life for me has been maybe some of the challenges of CP. I've overcome a lot, but as I've gotten older, things have definitely gotten harder. Like, it's harder for me to walk now sometimes. Sometimes day to day my legs are weaker than they used to be, even though for many years they were stronger than they could ever be. Joint pain has definitely been a problem in the last year and it has definitely become a foe of mine. But I have not let it stop me from doing push-ups, doing sit-ups, walking or running and doing things that I enjoy. I hope that you have found this video helpful. I hope that I have answered your questions and I hope that you have a wonderful 2017. I hope that you're inspired by my story, and I hope to see whoever you are again soon. Thank you, and have a great night. Hi, my name is Patrick McMillan, and I can't believe it, but I'll be 49 years old this year. I have four children, twin daughters a son that's 14 and my little one is eight needless to say it's a crazy household my wife and I have been married well this year will be 20 years come June and our life is just crazy as really everybody else's take time out to recognize uh, CP Awareness Day 
and you know we to let you know as, as you sort of get older you just have to work that much harder at life and keeping moving and keeping active and that includes you know going to gym to the gym every day um, and keeping fit really like everyone everyone else I think for us though you just have you can't take uh, time off I know because I've done it I took you know really a couple years off and I could tell you that you know you start to slow down but I am sort of back in form and you know doing what I need to do on a daily basis and just taking on life every day like really everyone else um, my CP I think although they really haven't you know can't tell you for sure but most likely was caused by a placenta abruption or I think I was in respiratory distress a couple times so somewhere in that time period that maybe where the CP sort of came into uh, being um, and you know and I don't feel my story is unique and while I was on a journey you know much earlier prior to sort of the social media and being able to share information and I've met some really great people you know through that uh, Nicole and, and, and Kathy and others uh, you know you know at the end of the day you, you were sort of at my in my time I felt that you know we were really on our own uh, not much was out there and you know I'm sure my story or when I'm finding out really is not that unique I mean I think there's not a lot out there I think you have to do your own homework you've got to ask your own questions but at the end of the day you know it kind of comes down to what do you feel most comfortable you know with and you know again I you know as a as a parent myself you know trying to put myself in my parents shoes you know they did the best they could um, but you know as an adult you know you go out there and, and look for information and become uh, educated you know the best you can and at the end of the day you have to work real hard and 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 persistence pays off and hard work pays off like I said I work in, in banking um, for a large multinational bank here in New Jersey but you know hobbies are you know I'm, I'm an avid carpenter you know um, do electrician work and plumbing and all kinds of things sort of jack of all trades uh, you know very active uh, with my my children in terms of basketball and baseball and soccer and while I can't beat them in a running race uh, and it probably doesn't look that great but you know you get out there and you do it um, and you have to do that and you do that for for them and and you know really for yourself uh, is, is really you know to keep moving you know I guess my message really is you know is just to keep going and I really don't identify with it or at least I haven't allowed um, my CP to identify myself I think as a younger person I certainly did I allowed it to you know put up barriers artificial ones at that uh, and it's interesting now because a lot of that stuff was all in my head and things that I you know put on other people and I thought well that's probably the way they feel and I would have these conversations in my head and before you knew it I would talk myself out of really doing a lot of things growing up you know I think as an adult you know, as you as you grow up and you mature you realize that look everybody's got issues you know mine are out on the outside you can see them that's great but everybody you know is carrying something around uh, mine happens to be on the outside I'm fine with that I just keep moving I don't allow CP to define me um, I do whatever you know I'd like to do I have dreams I have goals I go out there and get them I work hard there's failures failures along the way but at the end of the day it's not the box that I decide to sit in there's too many people in the world and I'm sure everybody have seen it or experienced it where people say well this is what you can do or this is the only thing you're going to be able to do or you won't be able to do this and you won't be able to do that 
boy, if I had a nickel for every time I heard that, I I would be um, a very wealthy man. But at the end of the day, my I use that as my drive to say, okay, you say I'm not going to do it. Well, now I'm going to prove to you that I can. And like I said, I've not stopped stopped since the uh, you know the day I was born and and really kept moving. So big message is please do not allow CP to sort of define who you are as a person. There's there's too much out there in the world, uh, too many great experiences, and you know to sit on the sidelines, um, you know is 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 really a mistake. You know because the world uh, needs us people, and and we can help others. I'm very very happy, you know, with social media in that, um, you know, we can share share messages. And like I said, I'm maybe not as good as my friend Nicole, who's you know, who's very uh, outgoing, you know, on there, and I'm, I'm I'm proud of her because she really is is, is a great uh, you know advocate for folks, and we sort of met up met up you know in a different way too through through a, you know a specialized surgery that we both share, and you know, and at the end of the day, if 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 she can help you know two people or three people or more, you know, getting the message out, that would be great. So. Um, wish everybody well and um, good luck. Hey guys, it's Jason Rohde. Um, I'm going to answer a few questions for CP Awareness Day. I only have about three minutes, so I'm going to make this as quick as I can. Um, again, Jason Rohde, I'm, I'm 37 years old, currently live outside of uh, Phoenix. Um, I was a Paralympic athlete for track and field. Currently hold the U.S. record for shot put. Um, right now, I'm kind of transitioning from there. Uh, we're working on the roadie.com, a place just that we're talking about, you know, nutrition, mindset, uh, workouts, stuff that's really helping, helping me to get, you know, my results and getting that word out. And hopefully we can help and make an impact there uh, with people. Um, what caused my CP? Uh, I was about three days old. Uh, I was dropped. Uh, they assumed that that's what, what caused I was a preemie. Um, so, you know, who knows from that standpoint exactly, you know, what had caused it. Um, as I get older, uh, changes, I get more spasticity when I go to sleep. Um, definitely on the left side of my hemiplegia, um, hemiplegia on the left side. So, uh, more spasticity there, uh, as far as stretching and stuff, my body doesn't react, you know, as quick, but I'm really working on my nutrition and my, my vitamins and getting those levels up and working on some different things. So, um, uh, as far as little info with the medical field, uh, you know, I just don't think there's enough research out there. Uh, there hasn't, you know, maybe there's not a lot of people that, are, you know, I don't know if there's a lot of people that are older, uh, like myself, um, that have CP that, you know, hopefully stuff like this will help come forth and, and, and show what we're doing and where we're getting those results to really get the information out there. Um, as far as me and questions, you know, I'm working on stuff with, uh, electrodes and and where I can do workouts where right now I can't move my foot you know it's I've got it where it's straight but I still you know I have to keep it down so it doesn't go up on its toe but I can't really move it too well you know but I got the electrodes on there and I can move it around and I, I have a lot more function um, you know so what is that there's some kind of signal there you know I'd love to to know you know more information and what can we do with that on, uh, you know on a bigger level um, so obviously I'm working on stuff like that I really want to get uh, any kind of awareness of what's working out there uh, to you guys. So um, a message for CP Awareness Day, I would just say, hey, you know, make every day count, guys. You know, I mean, we're we're blessed to be here and, you know, make it count. You know, whatever that looks like to you, um, you know, the more that I'm mobile and moving and, and that's where I, I've got my results. I'm supposed to be in a wheelchair. Um, I could have died, had run with cancer, had liver complications, had, you know, three months to live. Like, you know, it's, it's all about just, you just take each day for what it's worth and put in work, you know, um, get stretching, get your nutrition right, get your vitamins up, get, you know, get you operating to the highest level that you can. Um, and who knows what's possible for you? You know, I started much older, you know, who knows, you know, where you're at, um, and what you could do and what you could accomplish. Um, so anyway, I think that's my time. I appreciate you guys. Have a blessed day. And, um, I hope to talk with you 
Limping ain't easy.